Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the concept of IDs inside CSS. So in the previous lessons, we've looked at being able to select specific tags and apply uh, CSS to those. So as you can see in our style.css uh, uh, file over here, we are accessing the header one tag and we are applying these properties to it. Okay, we're making it color red with a background of blue. Now this applies to every single header one that we create. So if we were to create more header ones down below, they would all uh, inherit these specific properties. But what if we want to give a certain tag uh, a number of different CSS properties, but not other ones, okay? So if we look back in our index.html document here, you'll see that we have two paragraph tags, okay? We have the one here, which says this is a complete page, and we have HTML is easy. What if we only want to apply CSS to one of these specific uh, paragraph tags, okay, and not the other? Well, in that case, we can identify a specific paragraph by giving it a unique ID and then applying CSS properties to that specific ID, okay? So, first of all, uh, let's change this paragraph right here and we are going to give an ID of main paragraph, okay? So to do that, we need to give it an attribute called ID equals, and I'm just gonna enter in main par for main paragraph, okay? So we've got main par right here, and this paragraph now has the ID of main par. So we can access that over in our CSS and apply properties to it. So let's go over to our CSS document right here. And similar to how we've done it before, we need to basically lay out what we want to modify. So on a new line, I'm gonna go hashtag main par, make sure that the spelling is the exact same as what you wrote down for the ID. And hashtag is basically telling it, okay, this is for this ID. We then have the two squiggly brackets like before, and then we can lay out our specific properties. So let's just say we want this text here to be of color green. So for that, we can go color colon green, okay? Make sure you have the attribute name, a colon, the value, and then a semicolon to end that off, okay? We can save that, run it, and you should see that the main paragraph at the top here has green text, while the one down below has black text. So that is a look at IDs inside CSS. Now, it is very important that if you do want to have multiple different elements with multiple different IDs, they all need to be unique. And no two tags can have the same value for the ID. So do keep that in mind when using IDs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next lesson.